Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about a business object. It represents real time artifacts which has a special kind of association called a composition. It has several uh, nodes on the top where the top node defines the root of the business object. So it has been categorized into three. First one, business object structure. Second, business object behavior. Third, business object runtime. So let's see what is business object structure. So it has a hierarchical data model structure where a top node defines a root entity followed by there are several parent or child entities and leaf entities. Let's see what is parent entity. So the parent entity is a, one of the node, okay, which ha, which is near to the or uh, which is moving uh, towards to the root entity. Whereas child entity is also another node, which moving away from the root entity. The, uh, the leaf entity is one of the no main node which don't have any child entity. So here you could see there are several nodes. Each node will be defined in terms of CDS entities. <clears throat> so uh, what is a business object uh, definition? So uh, here you could see the root entity will be having a one to n relationship with the child entities. So one root entity will be having n number of child entities. So this uh, n child entities will be again having uh, n, n to n relationship which means here one child entity will be having one to n or zero to n uh, another child entity nodes. So this is basically a, a business object structure. Uh, so if we talk about a business object definition, okay, one root entity will be having zero to one behavior definition, which means either it, it has a zero behavior definition or one behavior definition, not more than that. So this behavior definition uh, will be having lot of uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, capabilities called uh, standard operations, uh, uh, custom actions, uh, locking um, authorizations, draft handling. All the capabilities has been defined in this behavior definition. So uh, one business object will be having only one behavior definition. So this behavior definitions will be having multiple behavior pools called behavior implementations. Either we ha can have one above class or multiple above class. So this, this is a kind of a global classes. This global classes will end, uh, end up called a, a local handler wherever a, virginal uh, implementation logic would be available. So let's talk about the last one business object runtime. So it has us two phases. One does interaction phases and there is a safe sequence. So in the interaction phases, uh, we have a, we have methods related to uh, modifying the uh, modifying the transaction. Uh, data okay so here the modify method is that read log all these methods will responsible for modifying the data and this data will be modified into the transactional buffer it will not directly update it to the database until the save sequence uh, is triggered after the save sequence is triggered the corresponding methods will get triggered so this is for validation and numbering purposes uh, this this in terms will check all the transactional data okay and if any error is there then it will not update anything to the database table so this is about uh, uh, 
our business object briefly thanks for watching